Hey Frag fam, Corbin here again from Northwest Scent. So there seems to be a large divide in the fragrance community as far as what matters more about a fragrance. You have one side where you know people just care about the performance. All they care about is how long it lasts, how good the sillage is, how much it pushes off your skin. And then there's the other side where people could really care less as long as the fragrance itself smells really nice. And I would say I identify more with that side. For me, I'm all about the scent. Does it smell good? Does it have depth to it? Does it smell high quality? However, in this video, we're gonna be covering five powerful beast mode fresh fragrances for 2021. So if you're interested to hear about these fragrances, please stick around. But first, let's roll that intro. Welcome back. So like I said in the intro, we are covering five powerful beast mode fresh fragrances for 2021. Now I'm changing things up with this video. Normally I don't do rank lists. I just put in, you know, five fragrances, 10 fragrances in a list and that's it. However, in this video, I am going to be ranking them in the order of the least beast mode to the most beast mode. So these are all very powerful. That's why they're in this video, but you can bet that the one at the number five spot still performs really good, but not as good as the fragrance at the number one spot. I'm not ranking them based on how good they smell. And honestly, one of the best performing ones is probably my least favorite as far as the scent goes on this list. But again, that's not how we're ranking them. We're ranking them in the order of the least performing to the most performing. So with that out of the way, let's jump into the number five spot. And starting the list off here at the number five spot is this one right here from Mansara. This is Cedrat Boise. This is a very nice Aventus style DNA, although this does not smell like Aventus at all. People that make comparisons to Aventus aren't too familiar with the Aventus DNA then because this is fruity, woody, you know, yes, and you know, Aventus is the same way. However, this is a lot sweeter, a lot juicier, a lot more heavy, and this has more of your traditional woody scents. Now, Aventus, you know, it's very citrusy, has this prominent muskiness in the dry down. It's a lot more airy. It just seems like a lighter fragrance when you smell it. This one is a lot denser, and I actually do get better performance with this one. So, as far as the performance goes, I get about 10 hours, and that's just on my skin personally. You know, I, of course, I'm not taking any kind of pulls here for performance numbers, but in my experience on my semi-dry skin, I've gotten about 10 hours. I've talked to people that get over 12 hours, so over half a day of performance with this fragrance. Nonetheless, this thing performs really well. I know some people tend to think that these brighter citrusy fragrances sometimes are just weaker performers, which is true for a lot of citrus fragrances and lighter fragrances in general. In this case, these ones are powerful. If you think that you're only getting four or five hours of performance, you're probably going to Nosmic to it. You know, have somebody else try and smell it on you. They'll probably be able to. I think people kind of get going to Nosmic and then bad performance mixed up. You know, they're not the same thing. So this one does perform very well. And again, it's just, a nice, easy to wear Aventus style fragrance, a really good entry level niche fragrance. If there was a few niche fragrances that I had to recommend for somebody to get as their first niche fragrances, this would probably make the cut because in the gray market, you can find these for under $70 occasionally for a brand new bottle. It smells really nice and it's long lasting. This is just a great package of a fragrance. So again, here at the number five spot, that is Mansara's Cedrat Boise. Up next here at the number four spot, we have a really nice grapefruit fragrance. Honestly, one of the best I've ever tried. And of course it's on this list here for a reason. This thing is very long lasting as well. This one is from Ormond Jane. This is called Montebacco Verano. And I'm pretty sure that this was a limited run fragrance or just like, you know, a limited production fragrance. So they only made so many units and they've stopped producing it, but you can still find this for sale at most places that sell niche fragrances. Unfortunately, this one is impossible to find discounted just because it was a limited production fragrance. And in general, the brand of Ormond Jane does not get discounted or you really can't find it on the gray market that often, occasionally, but it's very far and few between. This one again is probably impossible, but I do think that this is worth the, pre the retail price because it smells very high quality and very realistic. So like I said, this is a grapefruit fragrance. And in this case, it is grapefruit done beautifully. Sometimes, at least to what I've experienced, grapefruit fragrances come across very tart and almost bitter in a way. It can be kind of harsh to your nose. This one smells like an authentic
authentic grapefruit note, but it is not harsh or off-putting in the slightest. It's juicy, it's backed up by a little bit of tobacco they have in this fragrance, adding a nice touch of sweetness. And there's some other nice notes in here as well, like suede and woody notes. Now from the note breakdown, when you hear that, tobacco, woody notes, suede, you might be thinking this is a darker fragrance, but those are very much in the supportive role of the grapefruit. The grapefruit here is front and center, and if you've tried the other Montebacco flankers, then you know that in general, this fragrance line is not very heavy and rich. It is kind of a lighter take on these richer notes, and it's just an amazing fragrance. The, the grapefruit takes us to the next level. Of all the fragrances in this line, I have tried all of them. This one is my favorite because I do love grapefruit a lot when done correctly, and in this fragrance, they absolutely have done that. As far as the performance goes, I usually get about 11, even up to 12 hours of longevity, and that really just depends on the amount of activities I'm doing for the day. But nonetheless, super long lasting and a very under the radar fragrance. So if you want something that is decently unique because it's not worn or talked about by a lot of people and very long lasting for the fresher side of fragrances, you really need to check this one out, especially if you like the note of grapefruit. So again, here at the number four spot, that is Orman Jane's Matabaco Verano. Moving right along here to the number three spot, this is honestly one of my favorite pickups of 2020. I remember hearing about the bad performance of the first run of this fragrance, so I was kind of hesitant picking it up. However, when I got it, I do have a more modern batch after they reformulated it. This thing absolutely blew me away, not just with the scent, but with the performance that it provides as well. This one is from Parfums de Marley. This is Sedley. Man, this is a beautiful fragrance. Honestly, one of the best fresh fragrances I've ever tried, and it's mass appealing at the same time. I think you would honestly be hard pressed to find somebody that would dislike the smell of this fragrance. As far as what it's about, this has a beautiful kind of minty opening, although it's not like a chewing gum mint where it's sweet and kind of candied. It's a very much kind of a mellow mint, a little bit more on that icy side, very supportive. And you have basically every citrus you can think of in this fragrance. As you get more towards the mid, there's a little bit more of this herbaceous aromatic quality. You have a beautiful rosemary note, which I love. Love rosemary and fragrances and then there's lavender here as well which I also love lavender as well so this fragrance has just a ton of notes that I love it's backed up by ambroxan in the base which is probably why this thing performs so well as far as the performance goes I'm gonna label this as a 12 plus hour performer and why I say that rather than putting more of like a specific number or range on it is because the first time I wore this I'm not kidding I got 24 hours of longevity on my skin I could smell it the same time the following day that I had applied it and it was still Still there not projecting but it was still detectable on my skin however more recently when I've worn it I've usually gotten at least 12 hours but not up to that 24 hour mark so this is somewhere in this very broad range but I'm just gonna say 12 plus hours nonetheless 12 hours 24 hours basically at that point it's arbitrary because that is just crazy asinine performance for a fresh fragrance and this one does last a long time I honestly believe if you think you're only getting six seven eight hours with this fragrance you are going anosmic or you like took a shower or something like that this fragrance performs amazingly, smells really nice, and this is just probably one of the more versatile fragrances on this list of versatile fragrances. So this is a good, well-rounded package from Parfums de Marley. If you guys have not tried this fragrance yet, you need to check this one out. One of their best releases, in my opinion. So again, here at the number three spot, that is Parfums de Marley Sedley. So we're here at the number two spot now. So these final two are the ultra beast mode fragrances on this list. This one not only performs really well, but this thing smells absolutely amazing. I actually had the chance to sample this at a friend's house and then I, it blew me away so much. It was absolutely my, my favorite fragrance I tried that night that I went ahead and bought a full bottle the following day. So great scent and an amazing performer as well. This one is from Bulgari. This is called Tigar. Every time I smell this thing, it still reminds me of that first time I tried it. I absolutely love this fragrance. And the unique thing with this one is this only has three listed notes, and I don't really know if those are the only notes in the fragrance. A lot of these brands nowadays are only releasing very limited note breakdowns. It very well could be here, but it doesn't really matter. This thing smells really nice, and again, the performance is insane. The three notes in this fragrance are grapefruit, you have woody notes, and then ambroxan. And yes, they are not claiming it's ambergris. They're calling it ambroxan, which it truly is. And the Ambroxan here, it, they just did something with it where it just makes this fragrance last and last and last. You get a beautiful grapefruit note. As it dries down, you get a little bit more of this woodiness. And this is another grapefruit fragrance done right where it's not bitter or harsh or off-putting when you smell it. This one is very juicy, succulent, mouth-watering. It smells like an authentic grapefruit. You get a little bit of this nice kind of almost creamy woodiness in the backbone. I don't really get much of a metallic or kind of salty marine smell from the Ambroxan. I really think 
they use the Ambroxan here more as just kind of a performance enhancer. And in this case, they absolutely made it work. This thing lasts on my skin at least 12 hours. I've gotten up to 14 hours with this fragrance consistently. I've never had less than 12 hours on my skin. So this thing pushes and pushes and pushes. A very good projector as well. And there's just nothing bad I can say about this fragrance other than maybe the price. I believe the retail price on this is over $300 for the 100 mil. So very excessive as far as the price goes, but I don't feel bad because this thing smells amazing and it lasts a long time. So this is one I absolutely recommend you guys check out from Bulgari. Very sample worthy, of course, just because of the price, but again, an amazing fragrance. That is Bulgari Tigar. Okay, so we're finally here at the number one spot, and I can confidently say that this is my best performing fresh fragrance in my collection. And this is honestly probably in my top five best performing fragrances in my collection, regardless of the genre of the fragrance. This thing I consistently get over 14 hours. I've gotten over 16 hours before. I actually recently wore this fragrance. I can't remember when I put it on. It was sometime around like eight or nine o'clock in the morning, and I could smell it when I went to bed the same night. So this thing is crazy good on the performance, and there's nothing else that can be said about it other than that. This one is from Nishane. This is called Karagos. And this is kind of a strange fragrance and as far as like what I think about it, this is probably my least favorite as far as the scent goes on this list. It's tied between this one or Cedrat Boise. Still not a bad fragrance. I have it in my collection for a reason and that's because I do enjoy it. But this is a little bit more on that strange side. But again, we are talking about performance here and this thing is a beast as far as the performance goes. I will touch on the scent of course. So it has grape and pineapple in the top. There's a little bit of this kind of light herbal quality from some herbal notes. And then in the dry down, you get vetiver, oud, and amber. So it's a very big contrast of fresh and fruity at the top and then dark and kind of sweet at the bottom. The oud here, very clean. There's nothing dirty about it. The vetiver, same thing. I don't really get like a dirty, grassy, kind of like earthy vetiver from here. It's a lot more on just kind of this clean, I would say almost woody side. And then the amber is quite detectable as well. I think you get a decent amount of the sweetness in the dry down from the amber. And you do get kind of this powdery quality from this fragrance as well. So this is still a fresh fragrance through and through. Even into the dry down, you can still get that fruitiness and kind of those lighter herbal notes. But I would say this is probably the darkest fragrance in this list. However, again, the performance is insane. If you're on the market for a fresh fragrance, regardless of the scent that projects like a beast and lasts all day, then this is the fragrance for you. Absolutely amazing performance. I cannot reiterate that enough. I also did want to touch on that some people compare the smell of this to the smell of grape crush, you know, that grape flavored soda. And I kind of get that, although I don't think it's super accurate, but that's just kind of something to put in your head, kind of a cliff notes version, I guess you could say. Regardless, this is a very good performing fragrance, which I've already said 20 times in this clip. So I do apologize. One that you should check out if you're after something like this. So again, here at the number one spot, that is Nishane Karagos. Well, there you guys go. Those are my top five powerful, long lasting, fresh fragrances for 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed this list. And if you did, or if you found it helpful or you learned something maybe, I would really appreciate dropping a like just to show your support. And then that way more people can see my videos on YouTube. Additionally, if you wanna write a comment, maybe just let me know your thoughts as well as some new video ideas or topics, that would be great too. And since you're down there doing all that stuff, if you've not already, if you could hit the subscribe button and then the bell notification, that would be amazing. That way you stay up to date on new videos whenever they get released going forward. But with all that out of the way, that's all I really have for you guys today. So I hope you have a good one. Stay healthy, stay wealthy, and smell great.